Irish shaders. It's one of the best ways to get shaders in Minecraft while still getting great performance, and we're going to be showing you exactly how to get it in this video. First off, go to the second link in the description down below. This will take you to our in-depth guide on getting Irish shaders in both text format and video format. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click the download Irish shader button to go to the official download page, where all you got to do is click on this download universal jar link here, and that will download the Iris installer. You may need to keep or save it here, and it's 100% safe to do that. And while it's downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ SSGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods to your server and customize your server any way that you want, including adding hundreds of mod packs with just one click installation. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way should you run into any issues. So, stop struggling to host your Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ SSGH. With Iris downloaded, we also need to download shader packs. Shader packs are basically like texture packs, except they add different shading to Minecraft. Each one's unique in their own way, and we have a list in the description down below, linked, that will take you here. This is, like I said, the list with all the amazing shader packs that we can install. We're going to go ahead and grab Makeup Ultra Fast here. We'll also grab Complementary Shaders. Both of these are great packs. All the ones on our list are great. And by the way, if a shader pack isn't updated to 1.21.5, like Makeup Ultra Fast here, that's okay. I'll show you what that looks like. It's just going to work, by the way. Shader packs, even back to like 1.20, will a lot of times work in the most recent version. When downloading a shader pack, it's probably going to be here on CurseForge or on Modernth. On CurseForge, we can click on Files here and click Download, and the download will begin after a few seconds. You need to keep or save any shader pack you download. As long as you're downloading from CurseForge or Modernth, it's 100% safe to do that. Let's actually not even download Makeup Ultra Fast from here. We'll go ahead and get it on Modernth really quick. So here we are, Makeup Ultra Fast on Modernth. We can go to Versions and find that most recent version and click Download. Like I said, it's not going to matter that it's not for 1.21.5. It's still going to work perfectly. So now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is move everything to the desktop here. So we go to our Downloads folder. We have our Shader Packs, Complementary, and Makeup Ultra Fast. And then we have Iris itself, which is the basically shader loader that allows the shader packs to actually be used in Minecraft. Now, to install Iris, all you got to do is right-click on it, click on Open With, and click Java. But what if you don't have Java here? If you don't have Java or you do, you click on it and it doesn't work, you need to get Java from the description down below. This is our in-depth guide on downloading, installing, and setting up Java for Minecraft. It comes over everything, including getting Java for Minecraft mods, which is what we're doing here. So Iris is a Minecraft mod. After you get Java, you may want to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first download Java, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead, right click on the Iris installer, click on open with, and click on Java. This will open the Iris installer. Well, all we've got to do is make sure it's 1.20.1.5 selected, click on Iris, and then click install. It'll now install Iris into Minecraft and we are good to go. We can close out of the Iris installer and we can open up the Minecraft launcher. The reason that wouldn't have worked, by the way, is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.5 before, just go open it to the main menu and close out of it. Also, make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are both closed. We can now go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and we will have an Iris installation. We can see this by going to installations up here at the top and there it is, Iris and Sodium. If it's not there for you, go ahead and make sure modded check because if it's not, it won't be there. We have it though. Once we check modded, we can now hover over this, click on play, click play again, and Minecraft will open up with Iris installed. We can then install our shader packs and we'll be good to go. So here we are in game. We can go to options and video settings. Up here at the top, we have shader packs. Again, that was from the main menu. Go to options, video settings, shader packs. And all we want to do is move our shader packs into the shader pack folder. To do that, click open shader pack folder and drag and drop these shader packs in there. As soon as we do, when we go back in game, there they are. To activate them, click on the shader pack you want and click Click apply. I also want to mention shader pack settings here. As you can see, if we click on that, there's a bunch of different stuff, including different profiles. Let's say you had a lower end computer, you could run on the potato or very low setting for complementary shaders and get better performance. But we'll go ahead and run it on the default here. Click apply for any of those changes and we can jump in game. Of course, we're going to be joining a simple game hosting server because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends and shaders work on Minecraft servers without anything needing to be done on the server itself. So once we are in game here, we will be able to see that shaders is active. Instantly, you can tell by the clouds, look at that, as well as the shading. And of course, we do see the grass swaying in the wind the leaves swaying in the wind, that is all shaders. You can change shader packs in game by going to a video settings, shader packs, and we can switch to makeup ultra fast. Now, makeup ultra fast, if you remember, wasn't for 1.21.5, but yet it works perfectly fine. We can run around, we got the clouds, we got the shading, we've got the, you know, 
grass swaying here as well. Looks great. And we can also go into the shader settings for this and change them if we wanted to. For example, we can go ahead and change this to extreme. We could change the color scheme to legacy. It's going to change the entire look of this shader pack, which is really, really cool what you can do. Nevertheless, if you've got any questions, let us know. Look at that bloom that appears. <laughs> That's crazy how it kind of bokeh that out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.